Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to Top 5 Friday. Today we are talking about five books. This is really authors. <laughs> it's not really in, in any particular books uh, because a lot of these guys, I don't even own the books that turned me off of them. But uh, the these are books that I once upon a time loved, but I hated upon rereading. I'm not talking about a slight dislike. I'm not talking about, eh, it's not as good as I remember. I'm talking about utterly hated. This is utter garbage now to me, and I will no longer read them. Um, so, uh, next week, if I can get five of them, I'm going to be doing the inverse of this, if that's correct. I'm going to be doing top five books or authors that I read, that I hated, that I have changed my mind about. I am still looking through my collection and my reviews, but I can't find five. I've only found three. Anyways, so we're going to jump into this one. Uh, I'm going to try and do this one in order of the ones that I dislike the most. Um, and that's probably going to be difficult. But at number five, The Lord of the Rings. Um, I'm... I, I might as well go ahead and say I pretty much quit the Lord of the Rereads. There are some people still chugging along, but there are bo other books that I want to read, and I just have no want or need to pick these books up anymore. The Lord of the Rings, when I first read it, I read it just before the Peter Jackson movies came out, and I loved it. I tore right through um, all three books, which are technically just one book, um, so I'm just calling this The Lord of the Rings in general. Um, I got about three or four chapters into The Two Towers, and I was enjoying it, and then I just stopped, and I have absolutely no want or need to go back to it, because every time I think about it, I start thinking about this book and how much I utterly hated it. Um, the entire experience was garbage. Um, I even lost two, uh, I think, two viewers because of my opinion of that first book. That's how, I guess, that's how uh, despised my opinion was. And it still has the most dislikes out of uh, most of my videos. I think there's only two of them that have more dislikes than that. But, uh, yeah, I, I still love the movies, but this these books, I... I don't see what I saw in them to begin with. Uh, I have no idea what possessed me to enjoy it. I still love The Hobbit, so why don't I love these? I don't know. Jumping into it, this one, it's not this book. It's basically just this author, Richard Lehman. Um, Night in the Lonesome October, as well as, hang on here, The Traveling Vampire Show. These two books I will never get rid of. That's why I have them. Um, but I've tried rereading several of his books from way back when I really loved his stuff. I tore through all of his stuff in probably like two or three years, and I read everything. Uh, and I usually read his books within one or two days. Now I can't seem to finish one, and I refuse to go back and retry The Night in the Lonesome of October and The Traveling Vampire Show because I don't want to ruin my love for those books, so I'm leaving those books alone. But yeah, Richard Lehman, man, I am past that point in my life where I found him entertaining. I just don't find him entertaining anymore, and the more I read him now, the more I see how much, uh, how, how many words he overused, reused. Uh, there's the running joke that uh, rump is in, like, 50 million times he writes the word rump in his books, and it's a lot. Um, I would say it's over a dozen per book that he writes the word rump, which is very weird. All right, next up is one, Sorry Kevin, my buddy Kevin Witten. Uh, he has a great YouTube channel. If I can remember, I will link it down there below. He's currently doing a read-through of this author's work. And I currently tried to go back and reread some of my favorites for him, but I couldn't do it. Michael Crichton, uh, especially Jurassic Park. Um... I, I did a book versus movie. If y'all want to see that series come back, let me know. I stalled out on The Witches of Eastwick, and I never got that done. I just kind of forgot about it. If you guys want to see that come back, no Stephen King books or movies. But if you guys want to see that come back, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But, uh, yeah, so I went back and I tried to read several of his things, and I absolutely hated them. Um, I don't know why I ever liked them. The, the text speak, it's not that there's a whole lot of text speak. It's that... Most of the text speak is really, really dated, and the writing is absolutely terrible. And when people complain about Jonathan Franzen, they always bring up the fact that he said uh, on the Oprah Winfrey show, well, I'm a much better writer than Michael Crichton. Why am I not as famous as he is? And I've got to give Franzen 
credit, he's telling the truth. Michael Crichton wasn't that great of an author. He was a great storyteller. He had some wild ideas and some great stuff that translated very well to film. But as far as his writing, his writing does absolutely nothing for me anymore, and I had to go ahead and give him up. So that's number three. All right. Now, at number four, I was going to put this one... No, not number four. <laughs> at number two, I was going to put this one at number one, but there's one author that, from my childhood, that I... that just has been completely ruined for me. Um, but at number two, uh, Dean Koontz's The Fun House. I loved this book so much when I was younger. I remember getting it off of a, a wire rack at Lucky's Grocery Store in California where I got a lot of my uh, fiction from that from those wire racks at the at checkout. I got a lot of it. I pull it down I'm like, Mom, can I have this? Um, and this is one of those books. And I tried to go back and reread it. I still love how cheesy the movie is. Um, little known fact, this is a novelization. It's the only novelization that Dean Koontz ever wrote. Uh, based on a script by Larry Block. Someone told me that Larry Block was one of uh, Kuntz's pen names also. I, I can't find that information, so if you guys have links for me, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But, uh, yeah, so, yeah, The Fun House. This one, uh, the writing was actually, this is the closest thing to layman Dean Kuntz has ever written, other than Night Chills. And the only reason I say Night Chills is because Night Chills is so rapey. Um, I still like Dean Koontz occasionally, and I'm doing a chronological read-through with my friend Dilly, but as far as this is concerned, this book completely turned me off and made me realize, hey, maybe I didn't care as much, maybe it wasn't Dean Koontz's writing that I was there for, maybe it was his stories, and that's all well and good, that's fine, but um, at this point in time in my life, I am looking for writing. I want stuff that really captures me and really touches the heart or causes dread. Or There's certain things that I look for nowadays, and Dean Koontz isn't firing on any of those cylinders. Um, so Dean Koontz, I've fallen far away from him. He's still really easy to read, and I am enjoying rereading his stuff, but that's basically because I'm doing it with a friend, and we're having a blast doing it, mostly because we get to pick on him together. So, at number one is an author that I came to bat for constantly. An author that every single time something would pop up about his, um, him liking to, talk, to write about children and sexualizing children and whatnot, I always came to bat for him and, you know, said that, you know, his books were good, leave it alone, nobody has any proof, don't start any stupid rumors about the man's sexuality. If you have any problems with the books, talk about the problems with the books. Um, and then I started to reread his stuff, and I didn't see the same thing that certain people had brought up, and I'm not going to name them, um, but this, I didn't, I still don't see that issue. I just see some pure hot garbage, like the hottest of heart, of hot garbage is John Saul, man. Um, every single one of these books that I tried, there's one that I absolutely love, it's like, um, The Right Hand of Evil or something like that. I loved it, loved it. Tried to go back and read it, man. Ooh, Lord Jesus, I don't know what the hell happened to me, um, but it was definitely not my thing. Um, I tried to reread this one, which is uh, Comes the Blind Fury, and I tried to reread Punish the, Sin the Sinners. I had all of his books. I collected all of his books, hardcover, paperback, all that stuff. I have since sold every single one of those books. Um, I think the book that did it for me was, what was it, The God Plan? Um, if you go read my review, I'm not going to remember to link it um, for this video. Oh, may maybe I will. Maybe, I, maybe I'll remember, because i got to remember to link Kevin's channel also. But uh, if you want to, go read my review of The God Plan on Goodreads. It might have spoilers in it. That's the book that made me realize how bad he was. So I decided to go back and try some of his other stuff. I haven't been able to finish a John Saul book since I couldn't finish The God Plan. So, what are some of the books that you guys have read, or actually this specifically... Books that you have reread from, let's say, your childhood or from any point in your life, you've reread them and found out, holy shit, this is really, really terrible. I would love to hear those books. Please stay away from the uh, uh, the books that you reread and end up enjoying it, because we will do that eventually. Mostly right now, all the books that I can think of are Stephen King, so I might just go ahead and knock out that one. But next week, I, I, I was also asked to do a top five uh, women, ladies of horror fiction, women who write horror. I'm going to try and get that one out next week. Um, but, yeah, definitely let me know books that you've reread that you hated, 
but you once liked. Let me know that down there in the doobly-doo. And if you have opinions of any of these authors, let me know. But if you hate or love e either either way, if you hate them or love them, let me know why. Expand upon why you hate and why you love these authors. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you, this has been another Top 5 Friday. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye!